Go on. Okay. So this one here, CAD 3126, uh, this one is using the mechanical unit injectors. Uh, this right here is a little equalizer beam that goes down and measures rack travel or rack travel. Uh, this the other end of this beam is against the uh, actual rack on the injector, okay? We've got our little tool right here that we can use to move the control tube that moves all of the racks in unison. And when we turn this on, we can measure rack travel in millimeters. Alright? So what we want to do is first of all we want to zero out our dial indicator and we always zero it out in the shutoff position. The shutoff position is when the racks are all the way this way. Okay? And if you look, you can see that little black, it looks like a roll pin. Okay, that has to be bottomed out against the injector body. So I'm just gonna push it all the way over, zero it out, and let it go, okay? This is an arbitrary number at this point. What we're gonna do is put this little block, okay? This is a gauge block. We're gonna put this little gauge block in between the, that little stock pin and the body of the injector. And that's gonna hold number one injector open a certain amount. Okay, it's basically rotating the plunger in the barrel there. So I'm going to see if I can get this in place. Okay, and that just goes down in there. Sometimes it's easier from the other side. Okay, now I'm just going to open up the racks a little bit and tuck it in there, okay? Okay. And now we can read on our dial indicator that we're 3.63 millimeters open on this injector, okay? So this injector, uh, if this is open 3.63, all the other ones should be as well, right? That's adjustable just by simply loosening off that and using your tool. Okay, you see how the rack, look at the rack on number two. You see how that's moving in and out? Yep. Okay. So now if I was to move my dial indicator over to this position, and if I was to measure the rack travel on this one, if it can uh, measure 3.63 from shut off to wherever it rests, it's not set the same as number one because number one is all blocked open that amount. Okay. All right. So this right here, this is just giving us an arbitrary measurement just to compare everything else to. Number one's not adjustable, all the other ones are. Okay, the newer systems, they use two dial indicators. So instead of this gauge block setup, we just put two dial indicators on, we zero them both out, we let them go. And if they both read the same, what does that tell you? They're synchronized. Exactly. Whatever this one's at, this one here should be at too, right? Do you always go back to cylinder one? For cylinder one is our lead cylinder, so whatever cylinder one is set to, you always want these ones set okay. to the same amount. Okay. Okay. Let's pause that for me for a sec. Okay. All right, so now we're moved over to number two, and we know that number one is held open 363. We have to zero out number two. Okay, and we always zero out against the shutoff. And then we let it go. And what you'll notice is that I'm not letting this go slowly like that. As I get a different measurement. I'm just letting it spring back to wherever it wants to sit. Okay, it's fairly consistent. And now I take my tool and I readjust this right here till I get to my 3.63. It's a pretty delicate measurement, or adjustment I should say. Okay, and then, that doesn't happen every time. <laughs> You better go buy a lotto ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I may have done this a time or two. Okay. So anyways, that's exactly what you want. And if it doesn't end up doing that, when you sit there and just give it a little nudge, okay, just go redo it, tweak it a little bit one way or the other. I believe the tolerance is 0 0.02 millimeters on this. Yes. It is very, very finicky. So make sure you get it set right. Okay. okay. Now, to finish up the job, all you got to do is take this tool group off and keep moving it down and do exactly what I did. Okay. Uh, always leave your gauge block in place and occasionally come back here and make sure it's still seated properly. Okay. okay. Uh, this adjustment right here, this is for adjusting the uh, maximum fuel setting. Okay. The maximum fuel setting, all that does is adjust the relationship between where the injectors are at full fuel when the governor is in its full fuel position, because the governor is separate from the injectors on this one. Okay. Uh, that's just another measurement too. When we get to that point, uh, okay. you guys can uh, call me over and we'll go over that too. Okay. All right. Uh,